Well, let's put it this way. Pack your knives, get out, you're off the show. There are so many wonderful things that you can chop up and add to create a dish of epic design. But what about those times when you fail miserably at the task? And what if it's on television? Well, here are the 10 most embarrassing moments ever witnessed on Chopped. Eel blood. Those are the shrieking eels. Ah, uh, who doesn't love a good cooked meal of eel? Most people probably can't say that they've ever tried it, let alone attempted to prepare it. Well, if you find yourself in a position to eat this delicacy, do yourself a favor and make sure that it is fully cooked. Much like your favorite pork product, the risk is very real of becoming sick, or worse, if you eat eel that isn't cooked properly. Maybe you should lay off the egg rolls. Whereas pork doesn't necessarily kill you, an undercooked eel's blood very likely will. That's exactly what happened on an episode of Chomped when a chef decided to ignore the advice he was given and prepared and served an undercooked and inedible eel to the judges on the show. Most people would listen to the advice from the knowledgeable people who were going to be eating your food. If you consider yourself a know-it-all, maybe a televised competition isn't for you? Know your judges. Nice to meet me. How do you like your eggs in the morning? Sometimes on CHOP, contestants seemingly go out of their way to give judges food items that they don't like. This has happened way more than any contestant or judge would like to admit. Take for instance one episode where Scott Conant was a judge and the chef in question served him raw onions. If the show didn't provide the contestants a large list of foods and ingredients each judge likes and dislikes, then this wouldn't be an embarrassing moment for anyone. But the producers do supply this information in the form of a cheat sheet to help contestants get past this simple hurdle. This cheat sheet has all of the judges' hated foods and seasonings on it. Why wouldn't you look it over and find out what's the absolute worst thing you could serve to someone who will be scoring, rating, and consuming your food? Hey, who left this bowl of onions here? Oh, and this person will also be deciding whether you have a chance to win the competition and take home $10,000. Or at the very least, have a say on whether you stay on the show for the next round. The awkwardness of the moment makes for great drama and excitement for viewers, but if it's your food, Food being spit out on a television show and your chances at 10 grand being spit out with it, you might want to resync ignoring this cheat sheet. Not the ice cream. Lieutenant Day, I got you some ice cream. Ice cream is one of the most cherished and amazing treats there is. No matter the flavor or added chunks of chocolate, peanut butter, fruit, or anything else, the dessert is delicious and most everyone likes it. Lieutenant Dan, ice cream. One contestant on Chopped knew this and decided to make a batch of the sugary frozen cream. However, in the process, the chef might have experienced the most embarrassing moment of her life. Chef Virginia Willis was in the process of churning the sugar, cream, and milk together when her utensils pencil slipped from her hands and entered the very expensive ice cream maker. The resulting noise from the metal screeching and the spoon being ripped apart was terrible to most viewers and embarrassing to the chef. After this embarrassing moment, the chef in question was rightfully more careful going forward. Imagine needing to win just to be able to pay for a $7,000 ice cream machine. White Grain Confusion only one way to settle this. Food truck fine. There are a great number of recipes that call for both sugar and salt. When your job is baking or cooking, you should be used to grabbing a container and knowing which one of the granulated items you have without reading the label. But should you rely on that instinct if you were competing for $10,000? Most people would 100% check that the item they think they're pouring is indeed the item they actually need. So when a chopped contestant didn't perform this step, which would have taken just a few extra seconds, it created one of the most embarrassing moments ever recorded on a cooking show. The chef in question had decided to bake an upside-down cake for a delicate dessert. Ah, dessert. 
The cake sat up nicely, presented well, and the judges were excited to dig in. When that fluffy cake hit their mouths, though, silence was all that followed. The judges were stunned. They couldn't respond to anything. They simply looked at each other and then slowly towards the contestant. The sugar had been forgotten. The cake was made of salt and salt alone. This resulted in the contestant obviously losing the contest and being embarrassed on television. Bursting with nothing. What the hell happened? An explosion of flavor! Added food flavorings are so abundant, it's extremely hard to decide how you want to season most items. Do you want a spicy Italian seasoning? What about a Creole kick? There are flavors dedicated to almost every major city of every country in the world. It's honestly fantastic that we have so many different flavors to give our taste buds such variety. So with all of these spices and flavors available, it should be no issue for a professional chef at a competition to find one to use for their dish, right? Wrong. An intensely embarrassing moment happened on Chopped when Judge Scott Cannot called a chef out because their phyllo sheets tasted like nothing. You embarrass me! When the contestant refused to acknowledge this and instead argued with the judge, it made for an increasingly awkward situation. This was only amplified when both the judge and contestant doubled down on their feelings about the dish. Ultimately, as a chef, you have the final say about your dish. But if you enter a cooking competition with 10 grand on the line, it might be a smart move to come up with a better remark than telling the judge that it's their taste buds that are the problem and not your food. Sanitation station. What's she serving? If the health inspector shows up, 10 to 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, cutting away at a piece of raw chicken, the knife slicing through the flesh with little difficulty, and the meat falling to the wooden cutting board beneath. Once the chicken pieces are a perfect size and ready to be cooked, you must chop some vegetables or prepare the appetizer, right? Well, make sure to flip your cutting board to the clean side if you do. One contestant on Chopped made the mistake of mixing a burrito on a cutting board with juices from a raw chicken before serving it to the judges. Yikes! As you can guess, the resulting drama was nothing short of crazy and resulted in the chef losing out on the chance at winning. I'm in a glass case of emotion! Something so simple as ensuring a clean cooking area cost this particular chef a buttload of cash and embarrassed them in front of everyone in TV land. Hopefully, they've recovered from this misstep and their friends and family still trust them to serve up some delicious food. Except is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Have you ever had to bite your lip and refrain from saying what you're thinking? If you have, then you know that most of the time the thing you want to say isn't worth it anyways. When you go to learn new tricks of the trade or to be judged by people who have more experience than you, it might be a good idea to keep your mouth shut and listen to what they have to say. Regardless if they liked your food or not, it's a good exercise to know what others like and dislike about your cooking in order to tailor it to a larger audience. For some contestants on Shop, this concept seems to be lost. There are some chefs who think that they are above everyone else, that they already know everything about their craft. I'm kind of a big deal. Some of these contestants refuse to take simple advice from the judges. Some go as far as yelling and cussing at the judges who were only trying to give them options and ideas on how to make their dishes different in order to attract a wider group of eaters. One of these moments was so awkward that it resulted in a chef leaving the show on a negative note. Always be willing to accept both criticism and compliments. It may just help save you from embarrassment. Don't run with knives. Don't ever do that again.
a life lesson that literally every single person in the world is taught from the time they learn to walk is to never run with a knife. You would think that any and every chef in the world would know this and have it ingrained in their brain. If they were to fall or if someone stepped out in front of them, it could be a scary moment and easily avoidable mistake. Why wouldn't you respect this ancient rule? Why would you run with knives in your hand? There is no good reason to, not even on a competition show. But this is exactly what happened on an episode of Chopped when one contestant saw that their dish was much more important than everyone else's safety. Well, call it karma, but the offending chef wound up with a sliced finger that took five minutes to bandage. On top of this, the chef had to work around his injury while being ridiculed and called out by the judges and the other contestants for doing something so careless. Get out. Unable to finish the dish that he was preparing, the chef was ultimately tossed from the competition, and the embarrassing moment was forever immortalized on tape for the world to see. So kids, if you're watching this and your parents have never told you not to run with sharp objects in your hands, this is a great lesson to learn, especially if you're ever going to be on a television cooking show or become a head chef at a restaurant. Fluttering minds. So that heats up your knees and cooks at the same time. So this is probably a moment that everyone has experienced at some point in their lives. You're in the middle of doing something, then all of a sudden your brain goes numb. You can't remember what you're doing or why. What would you do if this moment was broadcast for millions to see? Oh my god! What is that? One chopped contestant had to deal with this exact problem when he seemingly froze in the middle of a dessert round while preparing his dish. The chef in question was one from humble beginnings and was relying on the money he would win to continue on in his dreams of becoming a professional chef. The stress he was experiencing and anxiety over trying to be perfect and beat the other extremely talented chefs must have been brutal. While everyone felt for the man, the realization of embarrassment could be sensed through the screen. For many, this moment of frozenness would have left them too embarrassed to continue on the show. Lucky for this talented contestant, though, he pulled out of his trance and went on to win the dessert round with a perfect dish. We can all take this as a lesson. Embarrassment can be overcome, so long as you just keep going. Where's the bloody food? This drink, I like it. I know, it's great, right? Another! If you were a talented chef, chances are you started your career at a relatively young age, serving up plates of mud pies to your siblings, fake muffins made of Play-Doh, things like that. Well, if your father is a massively successful restaurateur in New York City, your upbringing may have been a little different. You probably never served up a mud pie or Play-Doh muffin. However, you most likely received great lessons about whatever food you wanted to try. When one chef decided to follow in his father's footsteps, the young man decided to go on Chopped. He was a favored contestant, and most judges personally knew his father. This upper hand didn't help any, however, when the chef presented the judges with empty plates due to his dish not being ready in time to serve. The embarrassing moment was only amplified when the show's cameras panned to the judges' faces and their looks of pure shock. I meant no disrespect. One of the judges was so amazed at the foodless plate that they sat there moving their head back in forth like a lost toddler. The moment seemed to last forever before a kind-hearted judge asked to taste the pasta sauce and gave out a compliment to the chef to break the tension. All in all, this might be the most embarrassing moment ever seen on Chopped. Get a taste of more great videos. Just tap or click. And hey, leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.